So guys, in the first part of this video, we have created this beautiful design and in this part, we will cover the animation and I'll show you the animation first, how it works. If you can see here, there are multiple parts which are spinning and some are spinning clockwise and some are spinning anti-clockwise. So how to do that? Well, first of all, you have to go to the animation tab and there is the animation pane and here you can see all the animations here that we have applied to different items so so there are these 10 items 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 items on which we have applied the spin animation right and and you can see all these animations uh, have the have some settings in terms of start duration and delay so here you can see each animation has a different duration and why we have done that to give it a more natural look and it will look much more beautiful because each item has a different speed uh, due to this duration so now let's check the let's check the animation here so in order to simplify it further what i'm going to do is let's duplicate it and remove all the unwanted parts so i'm just doing it to help you understand how we have applied the animation now close this animation pane go to home and click on the selection pane and here you can see all the layers that are present in this uh, circular infographic design so if we just collapse all these groups then it would be much easier to see and identify the items so these are the total items here now what we have to do is we have to remove this part and this part as well so there is no animation applied on it now one by one we will click on this eye icon to hide the item so that we can see which item is this so this is this arc right so if we click on it you can see it hides so first of all select this so this is this item and you can also move it by dragging it so this com confirms that this is the item that we have selected now go to animations tab go to add animation and here is this spin under emphasis section you have to apply spin animation on it right after that once you applied the spin animation you have to click on the animation spin and this is the group number 48 here is the group number 48 on which we have applied the animation if we open the animations tab here you can see that we have the, applied the animation and it's the spin animation and if you select here you can find lots of options here like how you want it to spin like clockwise counterclockwise quarter spin half spin full spin two spins so we have selected full spin it will complete the full circle and it will spin clockwise now let's get back to the second item here now let's see which item is this so this is the group on this group we haven't applied any animation because if we apply the spin animation it will not be visible because it's a complete circle so no animation is required here so let's keep it hidden and second is this oval and we haven't applied any animation on this oval as well 
because again it's a circle and if you spin it your animation will not be visible so let's hide it as well so these are the remaining items on which we have to apply the application uh, animation i've already applied the animation i'm just trying to explain you how to do it now select the next item group number 45 so which is this item just click on this i button here and you can see this is this arc so again click on this group number 45 and you can drag it to confirm it and press ctrl z and it will move back to its position now you have selected group number 45 and you have to go to add animation again under emphasis you have to press spin we've already done that and here you can see under effects option we have pressed clockwise so now it animates clockwise and here is the next item again hide it to see which item is this so this is the item again you can select it group number 42 you can drag it to see if you have selected the right layer go to add animation press spin so yeah you've applied the spin animation here as well similarly apply the animation on all these elements one by one so this is how you apply the animation once you've applied the spin animation on all the components and then you will see something like this after that what you have to do is on each item you have to change the duration and make sure it's random and it is above seven or eight seconds so that the all the items will spin in a slow motion or slow manner so you can keep the duration above seven for all the items otherwise these items will start moving very fast and it will not look good and more uh, and doesn't look good on a, uh, on a corporate presentation slide so make sure it moves and uh, spins slowly and for that you can change the duration make sure delay is zero for all these items and after that you have to select all by pressing ctrl a and make sure all of these start with previous once you have done that it will start animate uh, animating with the spin animation but it will stop after completing one circle and for that you have to run all the animations in loop so that it will keep on animating until you end the slideshow and for that you have to select all these animation go to effects options go to timing and press repeat until end of slide then press ok right i've already done that and after that what you have to do is you have to randomly apply the effects option on each animation like for group number 45 let's see we have kept it clockwise group 42 again clockwise group number 48 clockwise group number 32 counterclockwise so this group or this item spins counterclockwise group number 39 again counterclockwise group number 52 clockwise and then group number 29 counterclockwise group number 35 clockwise so there is no set rule that i have followed i have applied the effects option just randomly and here you can see one more thing i have kept this group number 128 quarter spin rather than full spin here you can see on the group number 45 we have applied clockwise and it will spin a complete 360 degree but on the group number 128 it will only spin uh, 45 degrees 
like for uh, a quarter spin so you can also do these kinds of things here and for the group number 128 if you go to the effects option you have to apply auto reverse what does it mean it means let's play this animation then you will come to know so this is the group number 128 this plus sign so these are two lines actually so once they spin up to quarter then they spin in reverse so you got my point so that's why I have clicked on auto reverse because it only spins up to the quarter so we need to press this auto reverse so that it can come back to its original original position so also one more thing that you have to take care select all these items go to effects options and you can change these values smooth start smooth end bounce end but i would prefer keep it zero only so but you can try but you can try of course so this is how the animation part part works in all of my videos i generally you know uh, explain while applying the animation but in this tutorial i thought it would be a good idea to explain it once i've applied the whole sequence of animation so that will be better and it will be easy for you to learn and understand so i hope you like this video so please give a, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like and share this video with your friends and colleagues and we will see you guys in our next video with something more beautiful and creative till then bye bye